Hello YouTube friends, this is Maria coming to you with a Dollar Tree haul. I had been looking uh, for something for my classroom and at a Dollar Tree that's on my way home and I had not found it so I stopped by a different Dollar Tree and I found lots of things. So first let me show you what is after. I needed these word strips. Okay, there's 30 of them. So really one is enough for my classroom because um, I moved my students' desks around and I had ripped off their old strips that had been there since the beginning of the year. So I wanted these just to write their name on each of their desk. Um, they don't, I mean, they know where they sit and everything. I just like to have their names on their desk. And if there's ever a substitute or anything, you know, they know where they're supposed to sit. So I found these cute ones. They come in blue, green polka dot in the edge and I think there's a orange yeah and there's orange so those are nice springy colors as well so I really only needed one package but you know I can always use word search for anything else so I got this one that comes with the tinted uh, word strip and then this was just uh, you know different colors Looks like it's purple, yellow, and orange that comes with. Alright, so that's what I went for, but I found so much other stuff, mostly for my classroom. I had been after these things, and it says it's a dry erase pockets so that you could put something here and they can use dry erase markers and then you can erase it and reuse it. But uh, one of my teacher friends just uses it to post different things on a bulletin board where it's easily, you know, changeable. And I had been wanting some and I had not seen them at the Dollar Tree. And even this time there were only three of them. So I'm going to be on the hunt for more of these. And because uh, I, I would need, if they were the same color, I'd need about six. Um, so I'm halfway there, even though they wouldn't be matching, but that's okay. So I'll keep on the hunt for more of those. The three of those were the only ones they had left. And let's see. Also, for school, I got these pens. And I had gotten these before and I like them. I like that they're different colors because when grading papers and stuff, I like to use different colors. I don't like to just use red. Um, actually, at a school I used to work for before, um, they didn't let us use red because they thought it was so negative, you know. I haven't heard that at this school, but I still like to use different colors, you know. So that's what I got that for. And... Also for my classroom, I could not resist. These are so cute. And I have these in different colors, but now they have come in prints. Like, these are the big letters that you use. Are they stick on? No, these are just um, die cut letters. Yeah, die cut letters that, they're not stickers, they're just die cut letters that, um, you know, we use for our bulletin boards. And look how pretty I the blue so I usually get two packages because with two packages I can pretty much write whatever I need to write for sure I mean it comes with a decent amount of letters it tells you right here the letters that it comes with but um, you know I always get two just to make sure I have enough um, each letter for what I want so I got this cool polka dot blue pattern and then this red stripes pattern and yep and they're big letters they're about what four inches four inches so these are perfect i use those in my classroom all the time i also got i got every color they have which is only these four colors orange and teal or aqua i'm not sure what this qualifies as but funny enough these are dolphin colors <laughs> so i'm sure i'll have fun with that then these are stickers, call them poster stickers, and again, I got two packs of each, and they're in that pretty green polka dot, and these letters are about two inches tall, they're about, yeah, two inches tall, and yellow polka dot, so I use, I haven't used these too much, but I just couldn't pass them up, they're like so cute, oh, these yellows are stars, yellow is the little stars as you see that yeah and then these are polka dots so I got that for my classroom 
can't beat it for a dollar, my goodness. At the teacher store, those those things are a lot more expensive. Okay. And I got this hoop and loop fastener. Because that always comes in handy for like... Uh, and I have a little calendar that um, has just the loop part, but not the hook part or the other way around. So I thought I could replace them. But right now I've just been gluing my letters on, but like with hot glue, because that comes off real easy. But um, I'll see if, you know, this works better because that's what it's supposed to have. So this was for a repair in my classroom. <laughs> And let's see, this I got for home, just some placements, and um, I'm about ready to replace our placements, and this is just a good color in our house. So I just got four of these, I should have gotten some more, but there's usually just four of us in the house now. And last but not least, is that it? There was something else. Oh, okay. I also picked this up, and this is just randomly there because, you know, across from the um, teacher area, they also have, like, some toys. And I found this random puzzle. It says 18 months plus puzzle. But what I liked about it is not because of the puzzle. It's wood, but it's stars, squares, and circles. And I just thought... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I thought these are awesome little pieces for some DIY. I thought if nothing else, just putting magnets on the back makes really cute magnets for these, you know, stars. And then the, the circles, they're about an inch diameter, about an inch, an inch and a half, you know, wide. And I thought, okay. If nothing else, I could put magnets on the backs, and these are really cute magnets. And then on, on the squares, I can maybe put a sticker or something on here, you know, on on the squares and circles to just give it a little bit more oomph, you know. So I don't know exactly, like I said, what I'm going to do, but I just could not pass that up for a dollar. Even if I just put magnets on the back, the other one fell, I'm not going <laughs> to, one of the stars fell. Even if I just put magnets on the back, that's like, nine magnets for a dollar that are really cute and i have some some of that magnet strip already in my uh stash of craft stuff so i thought that was really cute for that uh you know easy diy if i do anything different i'll show you guys but you know other otherwise they'll just be cute magnets and then i had to try this for a dollar there's a sweet basil grow kit i have seen somebody haul a tomato kit and that's what I was looking for but I didn't see the tomatoes but basil we always use so I thought that would be cool and then strawberries I always wanted to try growing strawberries um I hear that once you get them going they're easy to take care of so which is good because I kill everything <laughs> but so I got those two to try okay and I believe is that everything yep that's everything so I hope you enjoyed this little uh, Dollar Tree haul. I haven't, uh, other than the last one that was a collective haul, I haven't really done one in a while. So it was pretty fun for me to do. I hope it was fun for you to watch. All right. Well, I hope you have a blessed day. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm probably going to be doing more of this type of thing, hauls, hopefully some DIYs if I can make the time to do it. And, um, you know, other random stuff. So uh, check out some other of my videos. If you like them, please subscribe. Um, if you have suggestions for me, I always welcome them. So leave those in the comments. And uh, once again, have a blessed day. Bye.